Right, this tutorial is going to focus on getting the Magic Probe uh, controller connected to your computer uh, so that you can actually use the Magic Probe software. Um, so before you start, the easiest thing to do is to go to the website uh, www.magicprobe.net and download the drivers for the Magic Probe. Um, so on the website you'll see there's a section called Document and Driver Downloads. If you click on that, there's a second section for documentation and then there's a section for doc driver downloads. Um, in the drivers, there's drivers for the Mac version um, and also for Windows. So for the Magic Probe version 4, there's a driver that you can download right here. I'm going to click on that. You'll see the little window opening on the bottom asking you if you want to run or save it. I'm going to save it and save as and um, I've created a folder on my uh, C drive uh, called Magic Probe. Uh, you can save it there or save it to your actual um, desktop if you like. Um, so I'm just going to find the Magic Probe folder and that's it there. And then I'm going to save this file uh, in there. Once it's downloaded, you may get a message like this from Windows saying that the Magic Probe drivers is not commonly uh, downloaded and you can click on actions and say uh, run anyway. Okay, And then it may ask you to extract uh, the folder. Um, I'm going to do that now and then look at that folder again and you should have a folder called Magic Probe drivers and if you click on there all the drivers uh, will be um, in that folder. <clears throat> so the next thing you want to look at is uh, when you connect your Magic Probe unit to the computer you, you need to find the, the serial port uh, that the unit is going to use to talk to your computer. So what you want to look at is your control panel. Now there's a, a, f a few ways to do that. Uh, when you bring up the control panel from the main menu you'll get the screen right here. Um, it may also look, depending on how you've configured it, it may look a little differently. So from this screen, you, you're looking for the hardware and sound. If you click on that, um, at the top here, you'll see devices and printers, and you'll see the device manager option there. The, the other way uh, for your control panel, if you've clicked on the category up here and you've said shown me the large icons, you'll also find the device manager in there. So that's what you want to run now is the device manager. And you should get a screen that looks something like this. And there will be a section called ports. And that's we want to click the little triangle next to ports. And this is the section that we're really interested in because once the Magic Probe has installed successfully, it should appear here under ports and the port number is something that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to plug my Magic Probe unit up to the computer with a supplied USB cable. Now, depending on if you have other equipment that's maybe used the same kind of driver, it, it'll install automatically like you see in the bottom right hand corner here. It's detected the Magic Probe and it's installed the USB serial port automatically for me. So if you see under ports, uh, there's now a new port there and it's called the USB serial port and in my particular case, it's called COM174. Uh, that's the number that you're looking for. Now, if you see something appear and it'll probably appear under other devices here and it may say something like a a serial port or something like that but it's something that uh, Windows does not recognize you're going to have to tell it where the actual driver for that device is so uh, assuming that yours appears something like these two here um, I'm going to right click on the port and what you have to do is click on update the driver software so when you click on that, you'll get a window like this, and it says Browse My Computer for Driver Software. That's the one that you want to select. And in the top section here, you want to hit on Browse, and you want to go and find the Magic Pro uh, folder that, you're, that, that you've created under your C drive. So I'm going to go down there. There's the folder there, Magic Pro Drivers, <coughs> and under 
i386 that's the one you want to highlight click OK and then click on next on this window here and in my case it's going to say the best driver for your device is already installed but in your case it'll actually go through the installation and install that driver uh, for that for that device and then it should appear under ports section and it should be the USB serial port and you will have a different number maybe it'll be COM3 or COM4 or something like that in my case it's COM174 so that's the number I'm interested in using uh, when I go to the Magic Probe software so let's have a look at the Magic Probe software um, so wh when you actually run the software I'm going to run it from the start I'm going to go in All right, so this is the software, um, the Magic Probe software, and the part that I'm interested in right in the beginning is the menu at the top which says Port Selection and Recalibration. So when I click on that, <coughs> there's a serial port connection there. So when I click on that, it's going to open up um, a little dialog which is going to give me a choice of serial port uh, to connect so I already know that my serial port is COM174 so I can select that one you can also manually type that in if if your port doesn't appear under the selection here you can manually type in the number and then click on OK so once I've clicked on OK the, the things that I want to look for is first of all on the top right hand side you will see that there's a little comms uh, indicator light and that light is red right now that light should turn to green when I connect to the correct port so let's see how that works. Uh, I click on OK. The light turns green. And then I start seeing some messages from my uh, Magic Probe appear on the screen right here in the center. And of course, I have a Magic Probe controller connected, which has got an LCD screen and some um, push buttons. I have to interact with the controller itself. Um, if you have a Magic Probe light unit, you would just follow the directions on the screen uh, the, as they appear. So my controller is telling me to press the function key. I press the function key. It's telling me to attach the ball to the probe, which I'm going to do right now, and press the function key. And there you see the message. Uh, it's doing the calibration. Now it's telling me to remove the ball, remove the ball, and press the function key again. And it's doing the second part of the calibration and now it says it succeeded and it's seen the, the big ball and I put the ball back onto the probe and click on my function key once more. Now you see in the top left hand side when I move the a ball on the probe you'll actually see it, the device is communicating with the software and you see the device readings appear in the top uh, left hand side you'll also see that the the green light on the top is now flashing so the device is now talking to the software and we're ready to start uh, on the next tutorial <laughs>